we go above two degrees C, uh, the changes are going to be um, pretty severe and irreversible. The impacts of global warming will, felt, will be felt in very different way in different parts of the world and unfortunately those who are least responsible for carbon emissions will be hit hardest. Countries like Mozambique have no enough uh, financial resources, have no enough technical capacity to invest in this sector. The world needs significant, relevant, effective instruments that are helping uh, emerging economies and developing countries contribute to this global effort of tackling climate change. And that's what the climate investment funds are really doing. If we didn't have the chance to find this loan, I would be doing this maybe not this year, maybe 10 years later, when I have enough funds. Today, I found this fund and then I did this job properly. Otherwise, I couldn't have done it. The forest investment program plays a very strategic role by supporting actions that are needed to prepare for the RED initiative, especially for developing innovative institutional and financial models. In particular, the forest investment program will allow us to test these innovative approaches at the local scale, allowing these to be really accessible to communities and ejidos. Basically, we need help with finance, and technology. If we get these two things right with a good governing policy, uh, we'll definitely make our business a thriving business. We were confronted by recurring drought these past few years. We suffered a lot. This year, by experimenting with this variety of millet that is resistant to drought and has a short growth cycle, we think that our agricultural problem caused by the rarity of rain will be solved. We ask you to multiply these types of initiatives because they allow farmers to improve production and our capacity for resilience. We can be sure that the current harvest will be better than those of recent years. An innovation is uh, really putting in place policies and guidelines in relation to how indigenous people should be engaged in these processes and of course one uh, concrete result of this is also putting in or allocating dedicated grant mechanism specific for indigenous peoples and local communities under the forest investment program. Ukraine is one of the least energy efficient countries in the world. Uh, this solar power plant in Porogi uh, can produce enough electricity to power uh, more than 2,100 households. Uh, the emissions savings uh, are the equivalent of uh, taking 2,000 cars off the road for good. Phase one is targeted to produce 400 megawatts. That is the first phase of development. The GDC is currently developing at Meningai. The rollout of Meningai phase one will be developed by GDC doing the upstream development, while the private sector will be brought in to do the downstream development, which entails mainly power plant construction development. We have come to realize that sustainability and affordability can coexist while providing better housing for the population. It's an equation that makes perfect sense and it is what we are trying to prove, especially at the base of the economic pyramid. We need mechanisms like the climate investment funds because they are producing results, they are showing the way, they are showing it's possible, that these investments are possible and are sound. And, and so they are showing that you know, leadership from developing countries, undeveloped countries who have made these contributions is possible and that much more can be done.